Welcome to our latest video in our GCSE revision series. This video is on the topic of polymers. By the end of this video lesson, you should understand that alkenes are used to make polymers in a process called addition polymerization, and you should be able to describe the structure, properties, and uses of addition polymers such as polyethene, polypropene, polyvinyl chloride, and polytetrafluoroethene. Now, just as we've done in other videos in this revision series, we're going to focus on how to answer exam questions. So here's the first exam question we'd like you to have a look at, and it comes in three parts, and the first part is on this slide. So read through the question, pause the video, have a go at it, and then we'll look at parts two and three. So here's the second and third parts of this question. So once again, read through the question, pause the video, have a go at it, and then we'll go for the answers. Now looking at question one, it says alkenes such as ethene, C2H4, are important raw materials for making polymers such as polyphene. The structure of ethene is given below, and then it draws ethene, and it says ethene is known as an unsaturated hydrocarbon. Explain the meaning of the term unsaturated. Well, unsaturated simply means it contains a carbon-carbon double bond. So if you said it's got a carbon-carbon double bond, you get one mark for this question. Now in question two, it says, complete the following simple equation for the production of polyphene from ethene. Now polyphene is often called polyethene because ethene molecules join together to form a long chained structure called a polymer. So here, to represent this, I have to break the double bond, and I've got a carbon-carbon single bond and four hydrogens. And I'm going to put this in brackets because I have to show the examiner that I understand that this unit, this structure, repeats over and over. So the bonds come outside the brackets to show they can join to other C2H4 structures. Now in this equation, they've said N ethene molecules react. So N represents a large number. So because it's N ethene molecules, I put an N after the brackets to show that the repeating unit, the C2H4, repeats N times. So they give you one mark for the correct repeating unit here, C2H4 with a single bond. And if you put it in brackets and put N, they get you the second mark. Now, if you look at part three, it says, apart from the possible danger to wildlife, give one reason why people are concerned about the use of plastics such as polyphene. Well, it's because polyphene is not biodegradable. It doesn't rot if you just dump it somewhere. So, therefore, it's difficult to dispose of. So, if you said it's not biodegradable, and therefore it's difficult to dispose of, and therefore this would result in landfill sites being filled up, um, that would get you a mark for that. So here's the second question we'd like to have a look at. So read for the question, pause the video, have a go at it, and then we'll go for the answers. So question 2a says, give the chemical name of the polymer represented by the diagram below. So they've drawn the repeating unit here in the question with two carbons and four fluorines, and obviously it's in brackets with an N. Now, it's different to polyethene because of the four fluorines, and this polymer is called polytetrafluoroethene. Tetra means four. And polytetrafluoroethene is known as PTFE, and its brand name is Teflon, and it's often used for non stick frying pans. Now, part two says propene undergoes polymerization to give the polymer polypropene. Complete the equation for the production of polypropene. So we have propene drawn on the left-hand side here, which is C3H6, and we have N propene molecules. So to draw the repeating unit, I have to remember to break the double bond. So I have a single bond between the two carbons here, and then I have a CH3, a H, a H, and a H. I make sure that the bonds come outside the brackets to show that this unit can join to other units. And I have to remember to put the N because there's N propene molecules. So there's one mark if you drew the repeating unit correctly here. And the type of polymerization is addition polymerization because alkenes undergo addition reactions. One mark if you said addition as a type of polymerization. 
So here's the final exam question we like to have a look at. So read for the question, pause the video, have a go at it, and then we'll go for the answers. Now in question three, it focuses on a different addition polymer, polychloroethene, which is commonly known as polyvinyl chloride, PVC. And they've drawn an equation to show how it's formed so you can see the structure of PVC. Now PVC has many different uses. PVC covered cables are used in electric blankets and PVC is used to make window frames. And the question asks, give the main reason apart from cost for using PVC covered cables first in electric blankets. Well, it's because it does not conduct electricity. So there's one mark if you said it doesn't conduct electricity or it's an insulator. And then it asks you to give the main reason apart from cost for using PVC for window frames. Well, the main reason we use PVC for window frames is that it doesn't corrode. It's weather resistant. So PVC is waterproof. It doesn't corrode. It's weather resistant. So that's the main reason why we would use PVC for window frames. Now both these parts get you one mark and it's important when answering questions on polymers that you can relate the properties, the characteristics, to the uses that that polymer has. So that concludes this video lesson. So after watching this video you should now understand that alkenes are used to make polymers in a process called addition polymerization. And you should also be able to describe the structure, properties and uses of addition polymers such as polyethene, polypropene, polyvinyl chloride and polytetrafluorophene. That concludes our video. Thank you for watching. This and other GCSE, AS and A-level chemistry videos can be found in our YouTube channel, Dr. O Chemistry.